Staff Sergeant Thomas. I'm a special functions coordinator. As a special functions coordinator, I basically any food that you see outside of the dining facility most likely got coordinated through me as far as squadron barbecues. Uh, you see cakes for wing ceremonies, things like that, to coordinate that through me. DV visits, distinguished visitor. When they come here and visit this base, I'll cook for them. My hometown is North Canton, Ohio. My home station is Spangdalem, Germany. I've been in the Air Force for six years. Well, I just joined the Air Force as just to basically take care of myself. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do right out, right out of college. And I, so I joined the Air Force. In college, my major is actually recreation and sports industry. So when I decided to join the Air Force, I also worked at a, a hotel. So I worked at a hotel. I was a manager at the recreation center on base. And so that was helping me get through college. And when I saw this career field, it had food, lodging, and fitness. And I was like, I've done two out of three of those. Cooking wouldn't be that bad. So I just rolled with it. And I chose my career field services. So as far as my job goes, I did both two parts of my job before I got into, into services. I came to start cooking uh, at McDill, my first duty station. I went straight to food. That was my first. My first job, I was a food service apprentice. I was excited to learn something new. I like to learn new things. I wasn't really worried about it. At first, when you walk into a food service kitchen, especially at McDill, where they can feed, you know, eight, 900 people for lunch, uh, you definitely have to learn very quick how to manage your time and to keep up the pace, even as an airman, regardless of what you're doing. So it was a little bit overwhelming at first, but once you get the hang of it, for me, it was uh, definitely tiresome, but fun and rewarding. My flight chief from Spangdalen was the superintendent here, and she had remembered that I had cooked at McDill, and I had some experience working with DVs at McDill, and she thought I would be good for the position. Not just because, she's told what she told me was not because of my cooking ability because my cooking experience and my professionalism, she thought I could handle the job. We spent about two hours of totally cooking. Most of it is prep work and getting thing, every, everything ready to go only because we want to make sure we have the freshest items when we do serve it. So it's always crunch time when it's time to cook because we want to make sure the items get there fresh because we also deliver it. When I found out I would be cooking, I was excited to learn something new. Uh, and then as you gain knowledge and responsibility, it still, it refreshes itself. And then when you get the opportunity to teach other people what you're doing, that's also refreshing just to keep you motivated to do your job.